We recently checked out the best tech of the men's world tour, but it has been a while since we've been to have a look at the best tech of the women's world tour. So given that the Aviva Tour of Britain is on our home turf, we thought we'd take the opportunity to go and have a detailed look and see what we can find. Over at Ale Cipollini, can't really miss these guys, certainly stand out. It's kind of from the Tinkoff school of kit design, but their bikes, their bikes are real head turners. This is the Cipollini RB1000 of Marta Taglia Ferro. Now most of the team are actually choosing to ride the Aero Cipollini, although they do have the new Bond, which is their lightweight bike as well. They're all on the team car, but one or two riders are electing to start on that. Full campy super record, that is a thing of beauty. Man, I absolutely love this bike. The Trek Madan of the UK-based Drops Cycling Team. Custom coloured using the Trek Project 1 customization program. That is just amazing, isn't it? Mechanical Dura Race. They've got Bontrager Aeolus 5 rims. Really wide, and so although they've got 25C Continentals on there, they plumped up. They're massive, which is going to be a real hit on the slightly rough British roads, we say. Other interesting things. All the women on the team are using the Bontrager women-specific saddle. Oh, don't mind him. And then, where possible, although it's not on the integrated bar and stem, they're also using the smaller radius Bontrager-specific bars as well. Well, hello, look what we've found here. No prizes for guessing whose. It's the specialised Amira of world champion Lizzie Armistead. Although, actually, Poor Lizzie doesn't get a name on the bike. I mean, admittedly, Specialized has sprayed up a custom World Championships bike, but still, no name sticker. Now, that is an absolute work of art. She's got SRAM Red ETAP on there with a quad power meter on her actual deviation from SRAM Red. She's got the Specialized S Works cranks on there. She's got Zip 303 wheels, not the NSWs actually, and then Specialized, quite famous now, S Works turbo tires. So supposedly some of the tires with the least rolling resistance out there. And then what I thought was quite interesting is that stem. She's got an absolutely massive Zip Sprint stem on there. So really, really stiff and also really quite long. Then also another nice touch on there. She's got traditional style, old school handlebars. The Live Planter team bike of Carly Taylor. And as you'll see, it's the aerodynamic Envy model. But what's really interesting about this is the whole team are on aero bikes. In fact, not just their race bikes, but also the spare bikes on the team cars as well. Very, very slick looking bikes. They've got full DI2 Pioneer power meters on there, Shimano Durace wheels as well. In fact, the full setup is either Liv or Shimano. Very cool. Now these, these are some of my favorites, the Canyon SRAM team. Most of the team are choosing to ride the ultimate CF SLXs, although Lisa Brenauer, who is the GC rider here, chooses, and always, I gather, chooses to ride an air road. But, it's what's on the canyons as well. Check it out. We've got Zip 404s. We've got SRAM Red ETAP. That bike is about as trick as it gets. Well, that's just a snapshot then of some of the amazing tech here in the Women's World Tour. If you want to see more tech, though, on GCN, then if you click just up there, you get through to our tech playlist. So all the videos we've got in one handy place. Or for a little bit more info on Lizzie Armistead's World Championship Edition Specialized Amira, if you click just down there, you get through to that one. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to GCN. To do that, just click on the globe.